Yeah, hey, that's swell. We can chew this for the eyes. Look at this, Harriet. I never Introduction The Adventures of Ozzy. And Harriet was a beloved sitcom that held the record for being the longest running live action show in us television history until It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia overtook it in 2021. Running for 14 years from 1952 to 1966, the show became a cultural staple, originating from a radio program in 1944. The Nelson family spent over two decades blurring the lines between fiction and reality. With Ozzy and Harriet as the quintessential TV couple of the 1950s, the series captured the essence of the American family. Despite the passing of the primary cast members, the remaining cast and crew have shared valuable insights about the Nelsons behind the scenes. In the following sections, we will delve into the show's impact, the lives of the Nelson family, and the enduring legacy of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. I thought he was your best friend. He is. Well, then what are you mad at him for? Harriet Nelson, born Peggy Lou Snyder in Des Moines, Iowa, had a rich upbringing in a theatrical family. Her parents were involved in vaudeville, a type of entertainment that combined theater, music, and comedy, and Harriet made her acting debut at the tender age of three. By the time she was 13, she was already gracing Broadway stages, showcasing her natural talent and passion for performing arts. In 1930, at the age of 20, Harriet embarked on a new chapter in her life when she married comedian Roy Sedley. However, this union was short-lived, lasting only a year before the couple separated due to allegations of abuse. Despite this setback, Harriet remained resilient and continued to pursue her career in acting, eventually finding success and becoming a beloved figure in American television. Her early life and career were marked by determination, talent, and a deep love for the performing arts, laying the foundation for her future achievements and enduring legacy. I still don't understand what happened. Harriet. In 1932, Harriet Hilliard met Ozzie Nelson when they both performed in vaudeville. They fell in love and decided to get married in 1935. At that time, Ozzy was the leader of a successful band called the Ozzy Nelson Orchestra, which gained popularity in the 1940s. Ozzy and Harriet's chemistry on stage was undeniable, and they started appearing together on various radio shows and programs. One of their notable appearances was on the Red Skelton Show, where they showcased their talent for comedy and music. In 1952, Ozzy and Harriet created their own television show, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet which became an instant hit. The show featured their real-life family, including their two sons, David and Ricky, and showcased their everyday lives. The show was unique in that it presented a wholesome and idealized version of American family life, which resonated with audiences during that time. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was a significant transition for Ozzy and Harriet as they moved from music and radio to television. The show ran for 14 seasons and became one of the longest running sitcoms in American television history. It was a testament to Ozzy and Harriet's enduring appeal and their ability to adapt to changing times. Overall, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was a beloved television show that brought joy and laughter to audiences for many years. It was a result of Ozzy and Harriet's hard work, dedication, and talent, which they had honed over the years in music and radio. The show remains a classic in American television history and a reminder of the simplicity and charm of a bygone era. And that's the way I always want you to think of it, old timer, as your second home. And I know mother. In the early 1950s, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet became a popular television series. Initially, Ozzy, the father, was hesitant to include their children, David and Ricky, in the radio show. However, Bing Crosby, a renowned singer and actor, advised Ozzy to involve his sons in the show. This decision proved to be a successful one, as both David and Ricky went on to have fruitful careers in the entertainment industry. David Halberstam's book, The 50s, discusses the pressure that David and Ricky experienced from their father, Ozzy. As the show's producer and director, Ozzy had high expectations for his sons and maintained a tight grip on their careers. This pressure, combined with the demands of the entertainment industry, created a challenging environment for the young boys. Despite the pressure, David and Ricky persevered and became successful actors and musicians in their own right. 
their inclusion in The Adventures of Ozzy, and Harriet added a layer of authenticity to the show, making it relatable to families across America. The show's success can be attributed in part to Bing Crosby's encouragement and Ozzy's eventual decision to involve his sons in the show. Yes, sir. But there really must be something wrong with those pants, because the man said there's been a lot of people exchanging them today. In the 1950s television series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, Ricky Nelson, the youngest son of the Nelsons, rose to fame as a teen idol at the age of 17. His good looks and musical talent captured the hearts of many young viewers, and he even starred in the film Rio Bravo in 1959. Ricky's personal life was not as picture-perfect as his on-screen persona. He married Kristen Harmon in a shotgun wedding, and the couple faced numerous marital problems throughout their marriage. Ricky's newfound fame and fortune put a strain on their relationship, and they eventually divorced in 1982. Tragically, Ricky's life was cut short in 1985 when he died in a plane crash at the age of 45. Initial reports suggested that his death was caused by substance use, but it was later discovered that a heater fire in the plane's cabin had caused the crash. Ricky's death was a shock to his fans and the entertainment industry as a whole. His talent and charisma had made him a beloved figure, and his untimely death left a void in the world of music and television. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, Ricky Nelson will always be remembered for his contributions to American culture and his enduring legacy as a teen idol. Saturday. Oh. Don't you think dancing's a lot of fun? Oh, dancing's all right, but I like football. The 1952 TV series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet faced significant challenges when Kristen, the wife of Ozzie Nelson's younger brother, turned to hard drugs after the tragic death of her son, Ricky. This led to a custody battle over their son, Sam, causing distress for the entire Nelson family. Meanwhile, Ozzie Nelson prioritized his health, but unfortunately, he died of liver cancer in 1975 at the age of 69. His death was a significant loss for the family and the entertainment industry as he was a prominent figure in both. On a brighter note, the Nelson brothers, David and Ricky, had a unique experience growing up on set. Their childhood was likened to the experience depicted in The Truman Show, as they spent much of their formative years in front of cameras, surrounded by the entertainment industry. Despite the struggles and challenges faced by the Nelson family, the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet remained a beloved and iconic TV series, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and the hearts of its viewers. You live next to the Thornberries. I know Will Thornberry very well. Oh, do you know little old Will? The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, is known for its idealized portrayal of the Nelson family, which was quite different from their real lives. The show presented a picture-perfect family, with Ozzy as the wise and understanding father, Harriet as the loving and supportive mother, and their two sons, David and Ricky, as typical teenagers. However, in reality, the Nelsons had their share of ups and downs, just like any other family. Despite the gap between reality and TV, the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet remain significant in American TV history. The show is often credited with influencing the concept of the TV family, setting a precedent for future family-oriented sitcoms. The Nelson family's portrayal of warmth, humor, and togetherness struck a chord with audiences and became a popular template for TV families in the years to come. The show's legacy is evident in the way it paved the way for other successful family sitcoms, such as Leave it to Beaver, The Brady Bunch, and Full House. These shows, like The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, presented an idealized version of family life, focusing on the positive aspects of family relationships and downplaying any conflicts or issues. In conclusion, while The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet may not have accurately reflected the Nelsons' real lives, its impact on American TV history is undeniable. The show's portrayal of the TV family has left a lasting legacy, influencing future family-oriented sitcoms and shaping the way audiences perceive family life on TV. Oh yeah? yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah? Oh, no. <laughs> calm down, will you fellas? The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was a popular television show that aired from 1952 to 1966. The show featured the real-life Nelson family, including Ozzy and Harriet Nelson, and their sons David and Ricky. It was one of the first shows to depict the everyday life of a typical American family 
and it resonated with audiences during a time of significant cultural change in the United States. Set in the 1950s and 1960s, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet offered a glimpse into the suburban lifestyle that many Americans aspired to during that era. The show's warm and humorous portrayal of family life helped to establish the situation comedy as a popular genre on television. The Nelson family's on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and their relatable storylines made the show a hit with audiences. From dealing with the challenges of raising teenagers to navigating the ups and downs of marriage, the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet tackled a wide range of topics that still resonate with viewers today. Despite its simple premise, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet had a significant impact on American television and pop culture. The show's catchy theme song, rock and roll music, became a hit single for Ricky Nelson, and the show's portrayal of the ideal American family helped to shape cultural attitudes during a time of rapid social change. Overall, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet remains a beloved classic of early American television offering a nostalgic look back at a simpler time while still delivering relatable and entertaining storylines that continue to resonate with audiences today. Me. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a groundbreaking 1950s TV series, had a casting process that was thorough and thoughtful. Ozzy Nelson, the show's creator and star, was deeply involved in the casting, ensuring that each actor was well suited for their role. For the lead roles of Ozzy and Harriet Nelson, the choice was straightforward since they were playing fictionalized versions of themselves. Their real-life sons, David and Ricky, were cast as their on-screen sons, Ricky and David Nelson. This decision added an extra layer of authenticity to the show. The casting of the Nelson's neighbors, the Bindlebeep family, was more complex. The role of Thorny Bindlebeep, the neighbor, was given to Don DeFore, who had previously worked with Ozzy Nelson in the radio version of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. DeFore's chemistry with the Nelson family was already established, making him a natural fit. The role of Thorny's wife, Emma, was more challenging to cast. After several auditions, the producers chose Spring Byington, who brought a warm, maternal energy to the role. Her chemistry with D4 and the Nelson family was immediate and genuine. The youngest Bindleby, Katie, was played by Diane Brewster. Brewster was chosen for her ability to portray a sweet yet mischievous character that fit perfectly with the show's tone. The casting process for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was a careful balance of chemistry, talent, and real life relationships. The result was a cast that felt like a real family which contributed significantly to the show's enduring popularity. Why not? I figured you must have kept men with the way the weather turned out and everything. Well, uh, no, it was somebody phoned at noon and told... The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, was directed by Ozzy Nelson himself. Ozzy's directorial vision was deeply influenced by his background in music and radio. He approached the show with a focus on capturing natural family interactions, which was a novel concept at the time. Ozzy's directing style was characterized by his emphasis on subtlety and authenticity. He avoided exaggerated expressions and overly dramatic situations, instead favoring a more realistic and low-key approach. This style was reflected in the show's simple, unpretentious sets and the natural, unrehearsed performances of the actors. In collaboration with the cast and crew, Ozzy created a warm and supportive working environment. He encouraged the actors to improvise and bring their own ideas to the table, resulting in a more authentic and engaging on-screen dynamic. Ozzy's collaborative approach extended to the show's writers, who were encouraged to draw inspiration from their own experiences and observations of family life. Ozzy's creative influences included his own experiences as a band leader and family man, as well as the classic comedies of the time. He was particularly influenced by the work of Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin, whose understated humor and physical comedy can be seen in the show's slapstick moments. Overall, Ozzy Nelson's directorial vision for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was marked by his commitment to authenticity, subtlety, and collaboration. His approach brought a fresh and engaging perspective to the family sitcom genre and his influence can still be seen in contemporary television. 
You know, it could be that he's just embarrassed because he didn't buy... The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, was produced with great attention to detail and set design and location. The show was primarily filmed in a studio where the set designers built a replica of the real Nelson family home to provide authenticity. The set included a living room, kitchen, and backyard, all designed to mimic the actual layout and style of the Nelson's home. The show's exterior scenes were shot on location in the Hollywood area, often at the actual Nelson residence. The production team faced logistical challenges in filming on location, including managing traffic, securing permits, and coordinating with the neighbors. One innovative technique employed during production was the use of the three camera system. This setup allowed the crew to capture multiple angles simultaneously, reducing the need for retakes and increasing efficiency. It also enabled the show to maintain a consistent look and feel throughout each episode. Despite the challenges, the production team of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet created a warm and inviting atmosphere that resonated with audiences. The show's relatable storylines and realistic settings helped it become a beloved classic, leaving an enduring mark on television history. Year around Christmas time, your old dad was smart enough to put a lot of that Christmas wrapping. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, featured a memorable soundtrack that complemented the show's narrative and emotional tone. The music was primarily composed by Lynn Murray, who was known for his work in television and film. Murray's compositions for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet were designed to evoke a sense of warmth and familiarity, reflecting the show's focus on family life. The music was often lighthearted and upbeat, mirroring the comedic elements of the series, but it could also be poignant and emotional, aligning with the show's more dramatic moments. The soundtrack also featured performances by the series stars, Ozzy Nelson and his real-life family, including his wife, Harriet, and their sons, David and Ricky. Ricky Nelson, in particular, would go on to have a successful career as a singer and musician with several of his songs featured in the series. The composers and musicians involved in the creation of the soundtrack for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet played a crucial role in enhancing the show's appeal. The music not only provided an emotional backdrop for the series, but also helped to establish a distinctive identity for the show, making it a beloved part of American television history. In creating the score for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, Murray and the other musicians drew upon a rich tradition of American music blending elements of jazz, blues, and classical music to create a unique and engaging soundtrack. The result was a soundtrack that was both memorable and evocative, perfectly capturing the spirit of the show and its characters. In summary, the creation of the score and soundtrack for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was a collaborative effort involving many talented musicians and composers. Through their work, they were able to create a soundtrack that not only complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the show, but also helped to establish its enduring popularity. For him to give up basketball until he brought his marks back up. Well, I can't say I blame you for making excuses. One of the most iconic scenes in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet comes from the episode The Birthday Party, where the Nelson family prepares a surprise party for Ricky's 13th birthday. The scene showcases the warm, loving dynamic of the family with Ozzy's careful planning, Harriet's nurturing nature, and Ricky's excitement. The director, James V. Kern, masterfully captures the family's chemistry through tight framing and warm lighting. The performance of the actors, particularly the genuine surprise and gratitude from Ricky, feels authentic and endearing. Cinematographer John F. Warren uses a handheld camera to capture the chaos and excitement of the party creating an intimate and lively atmosphere. The scene's impact on the audience lies in its relatability, as many can recall their own surprise birthday parties and the joy of being surrounded by loved ones. In a 1959 interview, Ozzy Nelson mentioned that the show's success came from their genuine family bond, stating, we never had to act. We were always ourselves. This authenticity shines through in scenes like Ricky's birthday party, making it an iconic moment in television history. Another iconic scene is from the episode Employing a Maid, where Harriet struggles to find a suitable maid to help with household chores. The scene highlights Harriet's comedic timing and the playful banter between her and Ozzy. Director James V. Kern uses long takes and static shots to emphasize the comedic beats, 
allowing the audience to fully appreciate the actors' performances. Harriet's exasperation and Ozzy's deadpan humor create a delightful scene that resonates with viewers. Harriet Nelson once commented on the show's humor, stating, We didn't set out to be funny, but I guess we just are. This natural comedic talent is on full display in employing a maid, making it an iconic scene that continues to entertain audiences today. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, had a significant cultural and social impact. The show resonated with audiences by presenting an idealized version of the American middle-class family, which many people found relatable and aspirational. It featured Ozzy and Harriet Nelson, along with their two sons, Ricky and David, living a picture-perfect life in a suburban home. The series influenced pop culture in various ways. It helped popularize the situation comedy genre and paved the way for future family-oriented shows. Moreover, Ricky Nelson, who played himself on the show, became a teen idol and a successful musician, further solidifying the series' impact on popular culture. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet also contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. For instance, the show depicted the changing role of women in society, albeit subtly. Harriet Nelson, while being a devoted wife and mother, was also portrayed as an equal partner in her marriage, making decisions and expressing her opinions. Furthermore, the series provided a glimpse into the post-war American dream, showcasing the comforts and conveniences of suburban life. It also touched upon themes of adolescence, parent-child relationships, and the importance of family values, which resonated with audiences of the time and continue to do so today. No, no, well, because this is going to be a well-planned party, and a well-planned party... The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, received positive critical reception and had a significant impact on American television culture. The show, which featured the real-life Nelson family, was praised for its wholesome portrayal of suburban family life. The New York Times described it as television's most consistently entertaining situation comedy. Audience reactions were also overwhelmingly positive. The show quickly became one of the most popular on television, and its characters and situations became a part of American popular culture. The show's relatable portrayal of family life, with its mix of humor and heart, resonated with viewers and helped to establish the situation comedy as a staple of American television. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet received several award nominations, including two Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Best Situation Comedy in 1955 and 1956. The show stars Ozzy and Harriet Nelson were also nominated for Primetime Emmy Awards for Best Actor and Actress in a Leading Role in a Comedy Series, respectively. These accolades are significant as they highlight the show's impact and influence on the television industry. The nominations for Best Situation Comedy, in particular, demonstrate the show's success in establishing the situation comedy genre. The nominations for Ozzy and Harriet Nelson, meanwhile, underscore the show's reliance on strong performances and relatable characters. In addition to its impact on the television industry, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet also had a significant cultural impact. The show's portrayal of suburban family life helped to shape American cultural attitudes towards family and domesticity. The show's enduring popularity, with reruns still airing today, is a testament to its lasting appeal and cultural significance. You're walking so funny for me. What? Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm not wearing a darn thing anymore. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1950s TV series, was famous for its portrayal of the Nelson family's daily life. The show's authenticity was largely due to the real-life relationship between the actors. In one episode, the script called for Ricky Nelson, who played himself, to accidentally drop a tray of drinks in a crowded restaurant. To achieve the desired effect, the production team intentionally overfilled the tray, making it nearly impossible for Ricky to carry without spilling. This resulted in several hilarious takes, capturing genuine reactions from the young actor. During the filming of another episode, Ozzy Nelson, the show's producer and director, decided to incorporate a scene where the family would have a picnic in their backyard. The set designers went all out, creating an idyllic setting complete with a checkered tablecloth, wicker basket, and an array of sandwiches. 
However, they overlooked one crucial detail providing enough food for the hungry cast and crew. As the cameras rolled, the actors couldn't resist the tempting display and they began to help themselves to the props. The scene had to be reshot multiple times as the sandwiches kept disappearing. Harriet Nelson, who played Ozzy's wife, was known for her impeccable fashion sense both on and off the screen. In one episode, she wore a stunning dress that caught the eye of a young fan visiting the set. The fan was so enamored with the dress that she asked Harriet for a lock of its fabric as a keepsake. Touched by the request, Harriet obliged, cutting a small piece from the hem of her dress. This heartwarming exchange was a testament to the genuine connection between the show's stars and their audience. Conflict sometimes arose between the show's writers and the cast, particularly when it came to the character of Ricky. As a real-life musician, Ricky Nelson aspired to incorporate more music into the show. However, the writers were hesitant, fearing it would detract from the series' family-oriented focus. In a memorable act of defiance, Ricky smuggled his guitar onto the set and, during a break in filming, began to play. The crew couldn't help but be captivated by his performance, and the writers eventually relented, paving the way for Ricky's successful music career. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the lighthearted and sometimes chaotic world of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, revealing the camaraderie, creativity, and occasional tension that shaped the beloved TV series. Have you done any of your Christmas shopping? The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, holds a significant place in film history as one of the longest running sitcoms in the United States. The show, which aired from 1952 to 1966, was instrumental in popularizing the situation comedy genre and establishing the norm of the nuclear family on television. Featuring the real-life Nelson family, including Ozzy, Harriet, and their sons David and Ricky, the series offered a wholesome and relatable portrayal of suburban life. Its influence on future filmmaking is evident in the countless sitcoms that followed, which adopted similar format, storyline, and family dynamics. The show also launched the careers of its two young stars, David and Ricky Nelson, who became successful musicians and actors in their own right. Ricky Nelson's music career, in particular, was bolstered by his appearances on the show, with his performances often serving as a musical interlude within the episodes. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet's impact can also be seen in the numerous parodies and homages it has inspired in later years, including in films like Back to the Future and Pleasantville. The show's portrayal of the idealized American family has also been analyzed and critiqued in academic circles, contributing to ongoing discussions about representation and cultural values in media. Overall, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet left an indelible mark on the television landscape, inspiring future filmmakers and shaping the way families were portrayed on screen for generations to come. Yeah, but don't forget they won't all be young people. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, we'll manage to keep things like Oh, sh The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, holds a special place in many hearts. Did you know that this show was one of the first to film episodes in a real home, giving it a cozy and relatable feel? Whether you grew up watching reruns or were there for the original airings, we'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this iconic series. How did this show impact you personally or influence your perspective on cinema? Was it the lovable characters, the hilarious situations, or perhaps the glimpse into family life in the 1950s that resonated with you? Share your stories with us and let's engage in a delightful conversation about this beloved piece of television history. We invite you to like, share, and subscribe to join us in exploring more cinematic memories and experiences. Let's reminisce together about the good old days of TV and create new memories along the way. Oh, the boys, he's surprised.